talking to Sean Phillips. And Sean, first of all, Moreno and Buki just talked about the coaching staff keeping the team positive, keeping them reminded they can pull it out. What's going through the coaches' minds when the minute's ticking away and you're down by a goal late in regulation? Well, I mean, coming into this game, we knew every time it's been with Wright State, it's a bit of a heavyweight fight. And we jumped up out 1-0. We were doing what we thought it was going to take to get the result. And Wright State, because of the quality, especially in their front four, was able to get back, <laughs> jump ahead, made two important plays to get ahead 2-1. But in games like this, it, it comes down to special moments and special plays. And, you know, we kept telling the guys, believe in what we're doing. We were creating chances. Gino had a chance under 30 seconds into the second half. Um, and we had the, the better of the play in that second half. We created a lot of good chances. Uh, didn't give a whole lot to them. Uh, we were better in our defensive transition. Then all of a sudden, we have to keep believing and, and doing what we do, whether we score with 15 minutes to go to tie it up and apply the pressure or... You know, this kid Moreno, he, he stepped on against Northern and, and made an impact leading to Chino's goal. Now he steps on, and the staff asks these kids to, you know, make an impact when you come off the bench. They're called game changers for us, not reserves or subs. They're game changers, and the kid changed the game tonight. Uh, and then Buki just keeps plugging along, plugging along, plugging along. Um, Barr creates. Um, he had a heck of a night, even though, you know, he didn't get a goal he he was creating stuff all all night long he created that opportunity for Buki and Buki just kept working and we made the final play in this game and that's oftentimes what happens when you have two top teams in a league or two top teams in a region it comes down to who makes the the most plays and tonight we did what's the difference in terms of mentality and momentum when you go into overtime having tied it in the last mm -hmm. seconds versus if it had been tied for most of the second half and it was just a slog between the two teams when I mean, you guys had the momentum going into this overtime. Well, that was a psychological piece. Credit to Wright State. They kept fighting, and we go into halftime with our heads down, but our guys, you know, some of our older players really brought us together and, and got us going, um, believing in what we were doing, and Ed, it does help. Timing a lot of times is part of it, and the fact that we got that goal so close to the end of overtime, I was completely confident, or excuse me, so close to the end of regulation, I was completely confident in overtime our guys were going to find a way to win. I find a way to win they did for the 19th straight time on this pitch, and was there a little bit of revenge against Wright State, who was the last team to beat you here over two yes. years ago? Yeah, no, that was uh, in the back of everyone's mind, so it was it was good to get that, that result. The 19th straight win at home on the road on Tuesday to face Loyola in a quick turnaround for a city rival. Yes, no, uh, back out, our last non-conference game. Again, like the message has been all the time, that we step out of, out of conference and, and we always get these great rival games. Loyola's in good form. They're a great rival. And I, I expect a heck of a game on Tuesday night up in Rogers Park. Congratulations on the big, dramatic win here tonight, Sean. Thank you.